Okay, this is what we're going to be making today. Bearing in mind that I've already made it and tasted it. So you're in for a real treat. This is a humdinger. This is a steak, mushroom and onion pie. What I often refer to as the king of pies. So let's get cooking. Right, so an air fryer, steak and mushroom and onion pie. Firstly, um, this is a rump steak I'm using, um, 200 grams. We're going to cook the steak separately to the onions and the mushrooms. So I'm going to start by trimming the fat off of this and then we're going to caramelise it in a pan. So let's just trim this off. I've used rump steak in the past and never been able to render this hard fat so I generally take it off before I start. Um, and there's generally never too much of it in here. Um, I've only got that little bit there. So a little bit hiding there. And that's it. I'm now going to cube this um, and then we'll get it into a pan. And there we are. That was easy, wasn't it? All nicely chopped up. Now let's pop this in a pan. Right, I popped a tiny little knob of butter in there. Right, let's get the steak in. Right, in we go with our steak. And what I'm going to do is just brown that. I'll come back so you can see the colour that I'm after. If you start this off at a low temperature, it'll start to ooze liquid as you can see. And that stops it from sticking. Once you've got that liquid there, you can start turning the heat up. Right, now we can crumble. One, and then two oxo cubes, and into that we're also going to add one cup of water. Going to combine that, and then I'm going to sit it with a lid on for around about half an hour, and we'll just see how tender it is after that. Meanwhile, let's get our onions going. I've got this on a quite a low heat. Um, I just want these to soften out quite nicely. So they can be going as the meat's going. Also at this stage, you can add your 25 grams of butter. So there's our mushrooms. Our meat is ready for its soy sauce. So we're going to put in two tablespoons and this is reduced salt, soy sauce. Once those mushrooms are kind of are done we can incorporate the onions and the mushrooms in with the meat and then we'll have a taste. Right, now we're going to thicken this up. I've got two tablespoons of corn flour, two tablespoons of water. Just going to mix that in. There you go, that's... Look how silky, sheeny, shiny. <laughs> right out of the word. Um, the gravy, is from, that's from the butter. So, um, very important. Now we're going to add our onions and mushrooms. Right, here's our... That's really thick now, that's lovely. I hope that gives you an idea of the sort of consistency you're after. We're going to taste it now. And see if we need to adjust it. You notice I haven't put any salt in here. 
Mm. Oh my lord. That is just exotic. Right, we're going to take this off the heat now and we're going to leave it at least half an hour to cool. This is the time that you can pull your frozen pastry out of the freezer. Okay, it's um, time to make a pie. So, what I normally do is cut out my base about a centimetre wider than the pie itself. Okay, and then I'm going to push this into the base. And what I might do, because that looks like it's got it's a little bit shiny on the top, which means that there's a bit of moisture there now that could mean it might end up sticking so I'm just gonna rub some flour in there on the bottom part the underside and then I'm just gonna give it a shake then we'll pop it in here and use your knuckles right and just push it there you have it now this cooled mixture can go straight in now don't try and overfill these I mean, you probably will want to get as much in there as you possibly can but believe me if you do it'll just squirt out the sides and um, you won't be very happy look at that so this will make two pies but I'm looking at it now looks like it's going to make three about and now we'll make our lid to go on the top right from the leftover pastry I've rolled out enough to make a topping and firstly what we're going to do is just put some egg wash around this now egg wash is made up of one egg and one tablespoon of water mixed together this will help seal the pie. So we've got our bit of pastry here, we'll pop this on there. Put this on there. And then what I like to do is I'm gonna trim this. Now it's, don't skip this process. You might want to leave your pie looking rustic by not doing this. If you don't, then you'll find that the edges will actually hug the top of the pie and you won't be able to get it out. So do that first and then come around like this to crimp your pie. And there we are looking quite beautiful this does make the pie look very very nice then put a couple of holes in the top to let it vent during the cooking so we're going to put these in the air fryer today so that you can see just how versatile air fryers really are and um, we'll come back once I've got the air fryer out right so we're getting ready to put this in the air fryer the first thing we're going to do is egg wash the top and then we'll put it into the basket 180 degrees 12 minutes for our first little cook then we go there and then and 
the uh, right. And there we have it, 12 minutes, 180 degrees. I'll come back and have a look at it after 12 minutes. There you go, that's what it looks like after 12 minutes. The top is nicely almost done. I'm going to give it another five minutes. Basically, I'm just going to push this top piece without burning it um, so that the base and the underneath um, gets cooked. Okay, that's another six minutes. It's starting to come away from the edges now. So I think I'll give it another six minutes and then I think it'll be done. And there you have it. Beautiful. Beautiful cooked pie. Now I guess I guess I should eat it. Let's get this in half. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That just looks fantastic. Hang on, I'll get the camera set up a bit better. That is just beautiful. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Let's have a little. Can you hear the crunch? That's going to be hot. <laughs> oh no. Hang on a minute. Just wait for it. Right. Mm. Wow, that's easily the best pie I've made. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. I know it's a long one, but it's been well worth it. That is just crazy good pie. All right, catch you on the next recipe.